<laughs> Good morning to both of you. So first of all, I think we are extremely pleased with the performance for the full year. Um, not only be because we deliver the guidance, the 9% total revenue and software revenue, but also because this is concluding successfully the five years plan. And you remember in 2018, we stated that we will double the EPS in 2023, landing at 1.2 euro, and this is exactly what we did. So I think uh, we can uh, be proud of this, given what was happened, what happened during the period, you know, or taking into account the pandemic, where almost we had a beauty growth for a year, and also the, the different conflicts. Now, coming back to, the, to your question, I think uh, if you look at the growth drivers, the vast majority of the growth is coming from the subscriptions. And the subscription is in fact accelerating 16% for the full year, 22% for the, the Q4. And this is also a major thing because I think what we did during this uh, last five years, not only we have transitioned the business model from a license to subscriptions, but also we have expanded the contribution to the 3D experience platform almost by doubling the contributions. Pascal, I think if you ask many investors uh, and people who are clued into the business world which French company could benefit from AI, your company is one that they would name. Just spell out for us what you're doing with AI and how it's bolstering different parts of the business today. Yeah. So, first of all, you know that we have developed this technology, in fact, a long time ago. Uh, just a proof of what I'm saying, if you take what we do in the life sciences, uh, we are doing what we call the control harm, which is a way to measure the result in a clinical trial. And we are using extensively AI to generate those insights. We do also the same thing for the design using what we call the generative designs. So coming back to your point, I think AI for us is much more a way to expand what we do, to touch new users, new type of professionals, rather than to reduce our cost. And, uh, we are not planning to lay off the people because AI is coming, it's on the opposite. We are planning to hire 1,500 people in 2024 in order to reinforce our position and to expand. Uh, Pascal, let's talk just about margins, if you will. Good morning to you. Then operating margin of 35.9 Then in this set of uh, numbers. And then the outlook for 2024 is a, uh, at least a 300 basis point drawdown in that number. What's pushing that lower in your outlook? Uh, in fact, if you remember, we had to manage uh, the post-COVID effect. And the post-COVID was what? <laughs> During the COVID period, we, all, we were almost flat from a uh, hiring standpoint. And then in 22 and 23, we catch up in order to basically re-energize and uh, fulfill, if you want, uh, the capacity in certain vertical, in certain regions of the world. And we had the carryover effect in 2023. So, so looking 2024, we are back to the normal way. Uh, we are expecting to have an improvement of the average margin by 30 to 50 basis points and to be in line with where we are usually, which is close to 33%.